Hi, I'm Corbett Lunsford from Green Dream Group in Chicago, and I'm here with... Michael Hobbs of Peru Appraisal and Consultancy. And Sarah Coulter from App Properties, and one of the co-developers of MRED's Green MLS. We're here to give you a brief introduction to the Green MLS features for Chicagoland. And I wanted to make sure that you understand, first of all, that the word green, when it applies to homes and buildings, that might not actually mean recycled or sustainable. It might just mean good. The difference between a high-performance home or a green home and an average home is like the difference between a Ferrari and a Civic. So you want to know what those features are so you can start maybe commanding a higher price. Recent studies indicate that homes with green certifications that are disclosed on a green MLS like ours have achieved 9% higher sales prices on average. One of the features that you can start to incorporate here is third-party certifications for homes, and that's possible either on a new home or on an existing home. And if you're not familiar with those third-party certifications that involve performance testing like air leakage, insulation levels, air quality, moisture, and you want to know about the certifications that you can put on new homes and on existing homes because in 2011, more than one out of every four homes that was built was certified Energy Star. And if you don't know what that entails and why someone would be willing to pay more for that, you're going to lose your competitive edge. Some of the things that are going to be on this green disclosure list are not what you'd think of as green, like for example, ceiling fans and the color and type of the roof. So just make sure you familiarize yourself with this section. This is new information and may be confusing, but eventually it will become the norm. Remember when property listings came in a book and then PC access software and now they're completely web-based? This is what will happen with green building and it's important to get on board now. So let's go ahead and get into this green disclosure form, which you can find on the website. When you open it up, you're going to see a list of inventory of items that you might find in the home, like for example, high efficiency appliances, dishwashers, refrigerators, etc. You'll find listings for materials that have green certifications, like for example, carpets or other building materials. And you'd find recycling and landscaping. Then we get into the third-party verified air leakage and insulation values the windows, the what the building is made out of, uh, plumbing, any kind of renewable energy systems, those are kind of extra credit. And if you have a homeowner who thinks that they've got some features that make their home more like a Ferrari than like a Civic, there's even a section here where they can just start blabbing about how awesome their house is. If you don't tell the appraiser what features the home has, the appraiser can't determine how it contributes to value. This is a disclosure filled out by your seller and you as the agent act as their guide. Remember, if you don't know or you're not sure, don't fill it out. It's important to know that at the end of the green disclosure, your sellers will add their signature, taking the liability off you as the agent. It's important to request an appraiser with a green certification and you can find that information on the Appraisal Institute's website. And if your client does not know if their home has any of these features or if it might be airtight, they can go ahead and have it performance tested and get a quote for what it would take to make these green capital improvements to their home before they put it on the market. Then you can want to hire a home performance professional, somebody who's certified by either BPI or ResNet to help you with that. You can find a list of those professionals at the Illinois Association of Energy Raters website. Now when you're building your listing, just make sure that you visit the green tab under the listing. And about halfway down the page, you'll see the HERS index score. This is something that those certified professionals I mentioned can do for you. If you don't have a number, don't put one in there. And then the green supporting documents are here. You would upload the green disclosure and any other documentation that your homeowner has. Remember, if you're going to be listing green features, you need to have documentation to support that. If you have questions about any of these things in the green MLS, Go ahead and visit MRED's website. You can go to the specific green room page and you would uh, find a, an updated list of glossary terms and a bunch of resources there to help you navigate through this new tool, start earning more. Now, if you have any further questions, go ahead and contact MRED. This has been the intro to the green MLS. Thank you very much for watching. Tune in next time.